humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Kirby in the Forgotten Land. So What a Geek and I did finish the main game of this walkthrough in the previous video, but there's still a couple of things I have to do in order to properly get 100% completion. And the main thing is completing all of the challenge roads, all of the treasure roads that exist within the game. So even though this is a co-op walkthrough, What a Geek, I think you're kind of going to be like on the sidelines for a fair bit of it, unless I hand uh -huh. the controller off to you for a bit. So if you have any stories you've always wanted to tell or any anecdotes you wanted to share, this would be the prime time to do so. I don't know if I have any good anecdotes to share. <laughs> this is I've never been good at sharing private anecdotes. That's fine. No worries. I'm just trying to think of what a reasonable talking piece would be. Otherwise, I guess like I could do this on my own. But again, there's always the chance that I might need to hand this off to you. But I you guess we do should... a, if you want a quick selection of challenge roads, go to stage stage list with the Y button. That's what I was looking to, for. Treasure uh, road the first list. world. Yeah, here we you go. The first world, we can start off with the ones that we for sure can do with the base abilities. And then uh, we can work our way up to earning more rare stones. And yes, comments, that means we can finally upgrade our abilities. Right. Okay. Then yeah, I guess we, we may as well go in order. And anytime there's a gap, I'll return to the overworld and see if we can find it. So for now, all right, bending mouth treasure. That's it. I can do that. It's only two stars. Two stars. Man, remember at the start of this game where we thought there was going to be a level five for difficulty? I do remember that, actually. Well, okay, then what a geek. Okay. I've got a talking point for you. What would you say some of your greatest gaming challenges are? Like, if you had to brag about the thing you're most proud of that you did in a game, what would that be? Because the other day question. we were talking about, like, how frustrating it was to complete Pokemon Stadium. But now I, I take that in pride. So, like... Um, the first thing that came to mind, and I don't know if it's my most proud moment, beating level 9 classic mode in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Fair enough. Oh, have which, I asked this before? Because I feel like you've said that before. I don't know if you have, but he, to those who are not aware, the level 9 classic mode, which is very doable in most Smash games and is pretty easy once you get the hang of it, in the Wii U version, it is a nightmare. It you, is, only get, you only get the two stocks and you have a platforming element, and it just goes on for so long. It, it's not the completion that's a problem. It's completing it without losing a life. Right. Um, which is, yeah, which is a requirement, which I think I did with Lucina, of all characters. The problem is that most of the objectives in the classic mode in the Wii U version of Smash, they are all random events, and they can range anywhere from having one opponent to seven opponents, because they really wanted to promote the uh, eight-player eight Smash. Smash mode. Yeah, And they wanted to showcase, like, equipment and stuff, too, and... And items were on, which means there was a pretty likely chance that you would run into a random bomb and blow yourself up and thus make you lose a life. Right. Um, so, like I said, it's probably not my most proud moment. I actually have the whole thing recorded. I don't know how you could find it on my channel now, but um, I spent an hour and a half, maybe more than that, trying to get that challenge done. And I was very upset the entire time. Yeah, I, it, it's a, I've technically never completed a Smash game for my own benefit. Like, I haven't done all the challenges in Ultimate. I never got all the trophies in Melee. I get, Okay, I guess I technically completed Smash 64 because the final unlockable for that game is um, you just, like, unlock the ability to change the options or something mm -hmm. like that. So I guess I have done that one. Uh, I'm trying to get into the habit of completing more games, and I've, I've mentioned this before, so I'm wondering, like, what's another good one to do? And I'm trying to wonder, like, what are some things that people would consider a good bragging right? Smash actually isn't a bad option. Like, to, to finally, like, complete Super Smash with his brawl or something. My first, uh, actually my recorded series of the, of Ultimate was me trying to get all of the, uh, challenge board done. Hmm. Without using any of the uh, the the, ha the hammers, or hammers whatever it is. basically, yeah. Maybe and that's where I should start. Maybe I should work in reverse and start with ultimate. And <laughs> Go and back. I did it. it. It wasn't bad. It just took a while, and some of it I did do off screen because it was like you do a certain number of battles online or do some battles offline, or I even just right. montaged those. But it wasn't as difficult as the uh, the classic mode. Or sorry doing the same thing for the Wii U version of Smash because that was one of the challenges on the challenge board 
defeat classic mode level nine without losing a life. Right. Right, right, right. Yeah. I do like the way that Smash does things now. Oh. Okay, I did get that one. Oh. But past that, I don't know if I have any other really proud moments outside of playing some of my favorite games uh, to their respective completions. Uh, and I don't know, like in, is Beautiful Joe a tough game or something? It, if you play it the right way, it is a tough game. And I know it's weird to say the right way and have it be the tough mode. Mm -hmm. So you play it. You can play it on four different difficulties. The first two difficulties you have available to you are easy and normal, called kids and adults mode. If you beat, <laughs> okay. if you beat adults mode, you unlock V-rated difficulty, which is hard mode. Enemies will do more damage, and most of the scenarios will have harder enemies showing up instead of the, the standard ones. So you, already, you are not equipped to handle V-rated mode if you start fresh. But you can carry over your save, kind of like a New Game Plus type thing. Ah, uh, okay. All right, fair enough. And then if you beat V-rated mode, you get ultra V-rated mode. Same deal where they increase in damage again. And now damage indicators don't show up. So in order to know if they're going for a high or a low attack, you need to have memorized the visual cues as opposed to the damage indicators. And that one, me beating ultra V-rated difficulty on my own for the first time, that might have been one of my favorite uh, gaming moments. Mm hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. Because there was some great satisfaction in uh, defeating the hardest mode with no damage indicators and some of the hardest bosses, again, with no damage indicators. So. If you're saying it's one of your favorite gaming moments, but it's not one of the hardest things you've ever done. Not one of the hardest, for sure. Um, going back on the, the train of uh, games that I did not enjoy uh, doing a hard mode in uh, Yoshi's Woolly World. Oh, sure. So, yeah, Yoshi's Woolly World, I'm not a big fan of, and I don't think I'll ever go back to it because oh. I, I chose for my first time out to play the game to 100% oh. without uh, using any of those upgrades that you, you can use your uh, coins for. And that just made things harder for me. You know, that's true. I never played it with the upgrades either. I just never thought to do it. It was a self-imposed challenge and it was not worth the hassle. For sure. Well, how about like Pokemon stuff then? Like, have you done the Battle Frontiers in any of the games or anything like that? No, not really. No. Uh, right. When the Battle Frontiers were still like a new thing, you need. Uh, I was not really big into the competitive scene at all, so I just didn't bother with it. Sure. I've never done the Gen 3 Battle Frontier. I have done the Gen 4 one in HeartCold Soul Silver. I did a little bit of the battle, what was it, arcade? The battle roulette? Oh yeah, that, that's an interesting one. But other than that, yeah, I never really had much interest in it. For sure. I did do a fair bit of the Gen 6 uh, Battle Maison, but battle I... Battle Maison, yeah. But there's not like a frontier brain at that. No. Oh, well, no, and there are. There's the, there's the ladies, that's right. There, there are the ladies, but the, I never really got to them. Because I would always just stop right before that. Not even stop. I would lose before then. Sure. Did I do it? Or are they too slow again? What's too slow again? Hmm. So uh, part of the objective here is to freeze the enemies in your path using the uh, the freeze ability, which is mashing B. But that seems slower, is it not? That's why I haven't been doing it. Uh, you do gain a little bit of speed on slopes. Because you're standing still and you're sliding that way. But if I just like go around them, is that not fast? So try know? try doing try that it. ability on a slope. I see. Yeah, and if you hold oh, it all the way to the end, then you you can speed up the entire time. That makes more sense. Okay, well that explains everything. Thank you. But yeah, Pokemon, I've never really none of the games I've felt great satisfaction of beating because I've either a never beaten them or. B never beaten them. Sure. I uh, I've only completed the Pokedex in the in a couple of games. Like I, I technically have a complete Pokedex in Sword and Shield, and I have a complete Living Dex in in Home. But I, I don't have like a complete Pokedex in like Sun and Moon, you know. Yeah, I I have completed the Pokedex on multiple occasions. However, I didn't really ever gain a whole lot of satisfaction from it. 
Oh, this is still gonna be too slow, isn't it? Yeah, you got All hit right. once. All right, sorry. I was I did like the first three on my first try, and now this is the one that's that's giving me trouble. Do you want to pass off the controller? See how well I can do. Actually, yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, there we go. Some behind the scenes. So change the grip order. All right, so there you go. That's you. And then this one is. Come on. Good. Great. Well, technically, we don't even need to pair the second player anymore. No, but I like having something. Oh, that is the wrong button. All right, I there leave it go. to you. No stress. If you mess up, I will just judge you intensely. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll talk about some stuff. Yeah, I've go for done. it. I, I've considered making this everybody just kind of like, oh, yeah, me bragging about stuff I've done. Uh, I don't know. It's just relevant on the mind because I did do Pokemon Stadium and I'm, I'm considering doing Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, I did Sonic Adventure 2 recently. I and I want to do Mario Tennis because I've technically never completed that game, but there's like six difficulties and I've only ever done the first three. Uh, I have considered doing a video and I, I mentioned this in like one of my Animal Crossing videos. There's an old computer game I completed, just like a silly kids game. But only like 27 people have ever actually 100% completed it. And so I wanted to do a separate video about that and title it like 20, only 27 people have ever completed this game. Oh, you crushed that. You crushed that. Good job. Yeah, the point was to just be freezing the entire time. All right, well, I'll, I'll let you take the next two or three then, your pick. All right. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Difficult games, difficult games. I mean... <laughs> You and I, I have never played Dark Souls, right? I'm not a Dark Souls guy, no. I respect yeah. it. I don't play it. I take... Okay, I've never beaten Kid Icarus on the NES. But I have gotten, like, uh, several levels in. Just because I was curious, so I take pride in that. But no, I haven't beaten it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I also never 100%ed Yoshi's Island. Yeah, that one, again, with the Wooly World uh, thing for me. Yoshi games, just don't complete them. Just play yeah. them. I have completed Yoshi's New Island, and frankly, I I didn't really enjoy that. But I don't know. Had I not completed it, like, I, I, I have no interest in returning to that game. So I don't know. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. What else have I done? I like, okay. So in terms of what like about tough Kirby gaming, games, since we're playing a Kirby game here. Yeah, and, and I guess it makes sense to go by the franchise, right? So... In terms of Kirby, like, yes, I've, I've 100 percented each of the Kirby games I've played. So I've done that with Triple Deluxe, Planet Robobot, 64, uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. You know, I, I've, I've done all those. I, have, I don't own every single Kirby game and as such have not completed every single one. But the ones I have played, I've completed. So, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I, I did it. Oh, did you get it? I don't think I did it. Let me see. Ah, just barely. That's fine. I'll it's try again, but this latency is killing me. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're a trooper. Uh, Actually, yeah. I'm a ranger. You are a ranger, aren't you? No worries. Yeah, of course, I give you the one where you have to friggin aim. <laughs> right. <laughs> Instead of one where it's just like mash the B button. It's fine. So, yeah, Kirby games. I, I don't know, like, if they're worth bragging about. I mean, the true arenas can genuinely be very difficult. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I've, I've, I've completed them. If we go to Mario games, I guess the biggest challenges in those games are like Mario Galaxy 2, the final, the, the, the final level you do. Like mm -hmm. I got all the green stars and did all that. Mario uh, 3D World, same deal. Yeah, I've done, I did that. I've recorded that for my channel. Uh, I've never completed Sunshine. I never yeah, owned it. I don't think it. I have either. I've never owned it until it came with Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So we'll see. Uh, I have completed Thousand Year Door. Mm-hmm. And in terms of, oh, nice dodge. In terms of like a challenge that I've completed though. Here, do, you want, do you want me to do this one and then hand, hand you off a different one? I, th I think I got it. Okay. I've got, I've got 15 seconds left. Alrighty. There we go. Yeah, uh, and then Sonic stuff, yeah. So I, I have completed Sonic Advance 2, Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, never oh, if you Son beat Sonic Advance 2, like mm -hmm. getting all the Chaos Emeralds, that's saying yeah. something. I, I, I did that, yeah. I had a lot more patience when I was a kid, I guess. Evidently, yeah. Uh, I've done the Battle Frontier in HeartGold Soul Silver. I did do the Battle Subway in Black and White for a time. Uh, I I did all the Master Trainer battles in Let's Go. I've 
Complete Pokedex and Sword and Shield. All three of them. Good job. And... Yeah, I mean, I'm sure if I sat down to write a video, I'd, I'd come up with other things that were that would be worth bragging about. But like, never never completed Sonic Heroes. Never, never going to complete Shadow the Hedgehog. That's not going to happen. What the heck? Is <laughs> this challenge? What am I, I looking at? I think I have to hit all the switches and then uh, Invincible Candy will spawn. That's so funny. I actually haven't done all these challenges. My girlfriend has done a handful of these early challenges. Oh, she's welcome to play if she wants to. <laughs> I offered it to her and she just kind of laughed and said no. Fair enough. What a silly challenge. That's my other name. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm sure I could think of more as the video goes on, but I, I don't know. I, I'm trying to create more things that are worth bragging about. I'm, I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. I'm working on it. I, I don't really do self-imposed challenges that often. Like, I don't really do Nuzlocke's. I don't really do, like, Paper Mario, but you can only invest the BP, or you can only invest in BP when you level up or something I've like that. I've done the BP one uh, on multiple playthroughs. Also, if you want to switch over to player one again, you can. Oh, yeah. How many? Is that, is that three? That's that was three. three. Yeah. Okay. So every three will switch back. All right. Sounds good. I am, we we, we got to like finish this up before my Joy-Con battery dies. All right. Here we go. I mean, if it comes down to it, I'll just, I'll just grab the pro controller. But here we go. I, I just haven't been using the pro controller that much because it's ha it has a little bit of Joy-Con drift. I do actually find the uh, Paper Mario games a lot more fun now with the the, um, the BP challenge. BP challenge, yeah. yeah we're missing one. Th there's one hidden challenge in here. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if that was because of you or because of me. Hang on, I'll, I'll find the hidden one real quick. Over by the rocks. Uh, I think it might be. You just zip by it. Was it actually over by the rocks though? Try right over oh, here. Oh, right yeah. there. That's the one I should do next. Nope. That wasn't anything. Oh, that was, just, that was just a coin? Yeah, there might be another one somewhere around here. Uh, just spit in my face, why don't you? I'd rather not. Do not do not do that. Try other coral reefs. There, oh, there. There it is. Starfish. Got it. Cool. Well, and I will keep doing these until I eventually do need to upgrade my abilities. But until then, we'll be good to go. I'm going to do the stairs challenge. Now that's a Paper Mario challenge I have yet to hear about. Oh, you know, you know what? I've beaten Mega Man X six. People think that's pretty difficult, but I do it with I do it with zero because I can't really do it with just X. I, what's the general consensus on Mega Man nine and ten? By the way, do we know that nine's pretty hard? Yeah, because originally you just had Mega Man, and then Proto Man got added as DLC. But I remember liking playing as Proto Man. The actual completion oh, stuff. Oh, this is a wacky challenge. What I've the not seen this I one. Don't you have, I don't understand. You have to this. stay on the red switch, unmorph. Got it. And I then, understand that. Oh, what? Oh, what the? It won't let me. Huh? Maybe you don't have enough space. I don't know. I, I just gotta like see how this works before I do anything else. <gasps> oh wait, you know what? What's that? I think it's because there isn't. Okay, yeah, you need to move the the top one. The top one to the bottom space, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What is this, like, push-mo nonsense? <laughs> Not push-mo, uh, what game is this? I can't even, I can't even think yeah, about it. Yeah, you need the horizontal facing one to the right. You need this one on the bottom right one. Yeah, I, the one I'm in now? Yeah. Okay, I just I just like made a mess out of this. Okay, this comes back over here. Okay, give me a sec. Just gotta remember. Okay, because I, I, you I, need a square of space to spit it back out. I see why right. that's yeah. the case. All right. Okay, I, see, I I have the visual imprint in my head. Here we go. Boom. Anyway, what we're we talking about? We we're talking about gaming challenges. And we were specifically talking about just like, I want to do more stuff that's worth bragging about. And you said the badge challenge is more fun for you when you play Paper Mario. Mm hmm. Here we go. Uh, I can't do anything with that oh just yet. Oh my god, I should have known from the get go. Don't start with that one. Start with this one. Stop. That's not <laughs> what I wanted. Stop. Stop. All right, there we go. I got to learn to read to know which one I have active. Yeah, you can fall over to the right. Yeah, okay. This 
this, yeah, this, this, is, this is messing me up a little bit. These are some good puzzles. All right, so now we get out of that. Can I even move? I think you should this? move the the upper, left. upper one to the left. Okay. Yeah. So the one on the lower right is gonna come into play like the, at the very end, right? I'm gonna have to like move that up to the top or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You could probably just have hopped over that one. Wait, then where can this one even go? Leave that one there for now, and then move that that top left one. So this. Can I squeeze through here? No. I don't have enough time to even like beat the challenge as is. Okay, hang on a sec. Yeah, this so one goes this, up against that that wall that he's throwing bones at. But I can't. Oh, I can break that. Okay, okay, okay. Excuse me. Okay, so that goes there. I'm about to run out of time, but I, I think I understand it now. Yeah. If you know this one better left. than I do, you're welcome to switch controllers. Bottom and left. Play. Bottom left. Bottom left. All right. Well, I'm about to die. So let's go try again. Uh, I don't really play Fire Emblem, so I don't really have any. Big challenges in that franchise. I, don't I play, play a fair few fighting games, but I wouldn't say any of them are particularly challenging to defeat because most of the appeal of fighting games is playing with other people, and you can't really defeat sure. like a campaign of other people. Right. Yeah, that's true. I would say you messed it up again, by the way. No, because I had to move it out of the way anyway. I thought oh, I didn't mess it up. All right, you know what? You should do it. I'm, 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 I, I'm overthinking this so much. Or just being distracted by other things. No, it's not that. It's I because I, I have the picture in my head of how it's supposed to look, and I keep telling my I keep like making too many notes. Like, oh, I gotta move this one first. I gotta move this one next, and I keep getting it backwards with how it's supposed to look in the end. Oh, sorry. That was me. So, yeah, if, if you've got it, you got it. Uh, Donkey Kong. I guess I haven't really talked about, but I don't. I don't really play Donkey Kong games. Returns uh, and Tropical Freeze were easy enough to get all the stages with, but I don't know about uh, puzzle pieces, like how difficult that would be, because I've never actually gone for those. Uh, yeah, Me Me Mega Man stuff. I've beaten two. I think I've beaten three. I've beaten nine. And I've beaten X, X1, four, X4, and X6. So, like, kind of the easy ones. X6 is considered difficult, uh, but I don't, I don't think it's so bad. Which is the one with the really bad dub? Well... <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, technically, the one people make fun of is X4, which is the What am I fighting for? One. That's X4. Is it possible to get through that game without laughing your rear behind off? I mean, if you skip the cutscenes. I guess. <laughs> uh, the, other, the other line that I quote with my other friends is, What do you think you're doing? This I don't know if like, I've ever seen a full playthrough of that game. I only know of what am I fighting for. It, it's a good game. It's just the, the dub needs some work. Like, the voice acting in games was was still weird around that time. If it wasn't made in America, as is, like like something like uh, Crash Bandicoot or something, dubbing was weird. Uh, we, oh, you know, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe that's not true, because Metal Gear Solid was still fine. And that was around the same time. So what do I know? It's just Capcom, I guess. <laughs> it's just Mega Man. So. I'm trying something I mean, different with this plot, but it's probably not going to work out very well. That's fine. Yeah, and then Resident Evil always had voice acting, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, what do I know? So anyway. Voice acting in games, like it's it's a mainstay now. I mean, even even the friggin' Kirby game has voice acting. <laughs> it's crazy. Weird, ain't it? It, it is weird, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. So move move that one to the left, and then end with the one at the top. Although you've got no, 15... this one can't go to the the left. Oh, you're right, it can't. Because if right. it spits out, then there's no there's no spot. I was just trying to think what would be time optimal because you've got eight seconds, I think. Yeah, I definitely messed up. That's my... okay. My plan. This is a tricky one because it's it's more of a puzzle than it is about a time trial. Yeah. Whoops. I'll just I'll just be here. You can just keep that. <laughs> I was like, I, I want to see where he goes. What's he gonna do? He's part of the puzzle. Hmm. No wonder this is a three star difficulty. <laughs> Some of the time save also comes from uh, canceling the animation of the fall. Right on that first one. You saw it on the last run of this. Sure, sure. Oh, I've completed Pikmin and Punch-Out games, if you want to talk about those. 
Okay. Uh, personally, I've defeated Punch Out Wii. That game is fantastic. Uh, I haven't mean? done Pikmin Two. I've never played Pikmin Two. P Pikmin, I've done Pikmin Two, One, and Pikmin Three. So, like, in terms of being a good sequel, Pikmin Two is a great sequel. But in terms of it being like your first Pikmin game, like, you probably shouldn't start with two. You can start with one or three. Mm -hmm. Two's a little rough. Uh, it, it's just tough. It's, it's like made for people who really like Pikmin, right? Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, it, and then there's also like mission mode stuff, and I, I have done that. I haven't recorded it for my channel, but I've done it. And I helped Gerard do it when the time came too. Let me think. P yeah, Punch-Out! One of the best games to ever grace the Wii. People will say Xenoblade, and that's still true. I'm still gonna put Punch-Out on there. Mario Strikers Charged actually was really good for me, because, uh... Next level games, their the programming champions. of AI is ridiculous at some they're, points. They're, they're, it's rough. Uh, I don't have Mario Strikers Charge, but I recall Gerard giving a similar sentiment when he was trying to complete the game. Oh, come on. You just, you just want the stairs. Okay. Yeah, so there's Pikmin, there's, uh... It's like I want to pull open an internet page and look it up. But it's gonna block your recording screen. <laughs> right. So I'm trying to look at my gaming collection here to see what else I have. I have completed Nintendo Land. I did all the achievements in that game. I don't think I was able to because I never. Oh damn it. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, did I do it actually? <laughs> yeah. You're like at 144.46. Let's nice. go. Nicely done. You want to do all the next right. one real quickly too while you have the controller? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, what else we got here? And I guess most of the games I've completed are actually pretty easy, to be honest with you. Uh, oh yeah, that's me. Sorry. It's fine. Uh, Pokemon Coliseum as a whole is a pretty difficult game, so I take pride in the main campaign. Yeah, that. it's it's kind of difficult, and getting all the shadow Pokemon. I I never got Ho Oh. In any of the attempts I've made at playing it. You know, I've never done that either. Maybe I should do that. Um. Yeah, I, I guess that's kind of it in terms of accomplishments I have with the games I've played. I, I, I am trying to have more bragging rights to speak of. So, yeah, you bring up a good point with Smash. I'll probably add that to the list. I think that would be fun. Let me write that on the whiteboard right now, since you're the one playing. Yeah. Maybe you should add Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Here we go, here we go. I might actually do Smash Ultimate sooner rather than later. There you go. Oh! Well, you know what, Woody? Hmm. I'm forgetting the biggest one. Metroid Dread. Have you heard of a game called Animal Crossing New Horizons? No, can't say I have. <laughs> okay. Well, I've completed a fair deal of achievements in that game. Thanks but to not some friends. But not all of them. Not all of them. No, I could not do the listen to 1000 KK songs or whatever it is. My goodness, I can't it's, even imagine. It, it's not a thousand. It's it's like a hundred, but still, it's, so it's that's a, over it's two hundred. It's over a year's worth of KK songs, by the yeah, way. It's a lot. You can only do once a week. It doesn't count if you go to a friend's house or friend's island. Even with time zones. So it's like still Thursday in your time. It doesn't count. It's the one you can't cheese, but I've done the other ones. I crafted 5,000 tools and I caught all the fish and the bugs and deep sea creatures. Oh, you, like you didn't. Walking I, I haven't updated anybody I've played the game with on this. Like, you were Jughead, but I've finally finished my museum. Oh, congratulations. I finally, I finally got all the art pieces on my own. Yeah, I had a lot of help with that. <laughs> I just, I, that's the one thing I did off screen and I kind of regret it, but it was just like it, people's schedules weren't aligning with when I needed to record. So I was like, you can just come over to my island real quickly and give me a piece of 
give me a piece of artwork and I'll just add it to the museum. Yeah, the amount of help I had with it was very minimal, and I'm I'm thankful for all the people who helped out with it, but uh, at the same time, you know, get on you, man. That's awesome. Finally got done. Yeah, so that that would be the big one. Otherwise, Uh, I I guess I am okay. I guess there's some other points. I am rank X in Splatoon. That's something Mm -hmm. else I did in 2020. Oh, and but I, are you rank X in every uh, not rank in every, mode? Rank S in all of them, not rank X in all of them. So I, I recently got the, to rank X in all of the, the ranked modes. And all of them? Yep. How did you do it for Clam Blitz? Uh, a lot of luck. Yeah. I played but that also, I just, I just like sports ball. I played that mode trying to get pickup shots for Chugga in S rank, and I'm still convinced some people don't know how to play. Or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the one that doesn't know how to be a team player. But I don't know, I got knocked back down to A rank, and I had no problem getting right back up to S rank because my teammates actually played the objective. Yeah, imagine that, playing the objective in a cooperative team-based shooter. Yeah, so I don't know. But yeah, I'm rank X in that. I am Master Ball rank in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, Now that I could never do. Competitive modern Pokemon, no thank you. I'm fine. I have it in singles and doubles. Uh... Although, like, it changes every month, so I'm probably not in it right this second. But I, I, I've proven that I can do it, and I did it without uh, using, like, the same strategies everyone else is doing. Like, I'm not using I, Zacian or Kyogre. I can't believe that uh, because I've been dodge rolling, it That's was actually slower. Oh, it doesn't stop the timer in real time? Uh, well, the reason it didn't work is because I did the witch time dodge, and as a result, he didn't do his shield move, and that's how you do the most damage, is by, uh, attacking him while his shield is up to stun him, and then he takes more damage. He went into phase two, thus increasing his defense, ironically. Oh, uh, okay, well, that makes more sense. Uh, and then for Smash, I only have, like, five characters in Elite Smash. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not that great. Uh, I do have Ganondorf in Elite Smash. Good. I don't know why, I just do. I have uh, a handful of characters still in there, most notably my mains, but... Right, same here. Although, I don't I don't think I have Ice Climbers in there anymore. I think I got them knocked out. Part of the uh, challenge board of uh, Smash Ultimate, I think, was to have... Uh, to play the game or online mode with a bunch of other characters and as a result of me doing that I accidentally got a few people into Elite Smash that way. Oh nice. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, I'll take the controller back if you'll have it. Sure. Okay. I mean this is your game after all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Oh hello battery. Yeah. I I better do it now before the battery is completely depleted, huh? Whoops wrong one. There we go. And then we'll do change grip order. And this is all me. Uh, We're going to need to do this again because okay. your Joy-Cons take forever to sync up. All right, don't press anything. Can I press it, something, but not anything? Now you can. Okay. How does the right Joy-Con have less battery than the left Joy-Con when I use them equally? Uh, Maybe because you kept mashing the button during the final boss? Oh, is that what it is? Because the that, A button's on the right guess. Joy-Con? Is that, is that really like a thing? No, I don't know. <laughs> All right, here, I'll do the one-star drill treasure. Easy. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know, any, any online achievements you've done? All right, how about, how about when you go to a convention? Have you ever done, like, a tourney and, like, performed Ooh, well there or something? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, the only conventions I've been to, I did... Oh, you need to do the Quake Surge, which is uh, circling... Uh, yeah, starting a now. circle and then connecting the circle. I understand now. Uh, yeah, but in terms of like tourney, tourney, I did pack Pokemon so. League, uh, but I don't think I ever defeated the champion because I ran out of time. Mm, okay. In uh, for two years. Sure. And once again, this is a Quake Surge thing, uh, so it's all Quake Surges all the time. All right, all right. That's I got the, this. That's I got the best it. way you're going to be doing damage with this thing. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah, Pax Pokemon League. I I cleared that finally in Pax West 2021. I haven't done it since or prior, rather. Uh, But that only worked out because PAX was 2021. It it was less busy than usual, so I had more chances and more time to uh, try it. But okay, fair enough. Uh, Do you do you ever do like a what what is happening? Am I taking the turn the circles? You're taking it. You're starting the drill too early, and you're taking too long to make the circle. Okay, fair enough. You ever do like a Mario Kart tourney or a Smash tourney or anything? No. 
Never had the time to. I just I can't I can't get it here. I had it that one attempt. I, once I do it once, I'll understand. Yeah, you gotta make tighter circles. Okay. Hug Much the walls better. if it's too difficult. Darn it. I thought the cage was gonna disappear for some reason, even though it evidently just didn't. Alright, here. Alright, make a circle around them. Make a circle. There you go, there First you go. You draw nice. a circle. First oh, you draw more. a circle, and then you dot the eyes, and all of a sudden it's Kirby. Oh, this one's a little tricky. I like it. I like the idea. I hate having to do it. Boom. There you go. And another one. Do another circle right in the center. Right in the center. Oh, yeah, this is going to be too wide, huh? Yeah, you're going to pop out before that's okay. over and done I, with. I understand now. Don't don't let the width of the stage deceive you. That's what it's doing to me. This is only supposed to be one star, though. This is supposed to be easy. I should have done this on my first try. Okay, here we go. And now we're all set. Now we come out again. Well, I mean, does that does that work? Does that work for you? There, there you go. go. Same diff. Up back in the center. Cool. Perfect. And another circle. Oh, this might be a little too big. No, you got it. Hey, there that, you go. Did that count? Oh, I okay, guess cool. it just kept <laughs> quaking. Cool. All right, just make tight circles around here. Alrighty. Everyone to the center, let's go. Hurry up and die. <laughs> there you go. And what, I've got like nine seconds to get to the goal? Alright, is this is the goal right here? No, there's more! There's more. I don't know if I have, I think I'm too slow. There you go. Okay. Keep it going. Just we go. be mindful that uh, am, you yeah. can probably dig underneath that fence and thus cause you to spike yourself. Yeah, I'm trying not to do that. Oh, you what? missed one. Why didn't that count? Why were you the lone survivor? Get out of here. All right, go, go, go. All right, yeah, how much time did I, I have I to do this I think you're good. I feel like the time limit. You did it pretty tight. Okay. Oh, my <sighs> God. A minute ten. All right, I, I got to do more than just worry about that lone survivor scarfy. Okay, back the other way. Tight corners, tight corners. Working on it. Where am I? There I am. Okay. God, this one is so hard to do because it's this is so. Boxy, yeah. Oh, you, you're done. I'm, you need I'm, to. You need to pop out. Wait. No. God. Why, so why am I struggling on that one so much? But I can do the first two fine. I don't know. Something must be throwing you off. Uh. All right. There we go. For some reason, yeah, for some reason, like, I just start by taking too like, wide of a turn. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why only that one, though. If I could just not take that wide turn, we'd be done with this. We can end the video. You can go hang out with your girlfriend, and I can get something to eat. Have you That's not a, taken a snack break yet? Mm, I had, I had like, two Sour Patch Kids. Dude. Frick. <laughs> All right, tag yeah. me in. Tag you in? Tag me you in. I want to eat Sour Patch Kids while you're doing this. That, too. I, I was going to say... it. it I should probably take over now before you have an aneurysm. I'll be okay, but thank you. I appreciate it. All right, I don't like to record while I eat, but it would be like that sometimes. You know that Snickers ad, you're never you and you're hungry or whatever? Mm-hmm. Same deal, but with the Sour Patch kids. Mm -hmm. S mm -hmm. Snickers and Sour Patch really need to make a collab already. I agree. You I don't like kids? Snickers flavored Sour Patch Kids. That's just no, that'd be, something that's else. That's weird. That's, yeah. that's a little weird for me. Like, I'm not. I'm not that ambitious when it comes to candy. <laughs> oh, you got it. Good job. And then for the bunny one, like, wait a second. Yep. Yeah. And now go. go. Yeah. Bunnies. Come on. Oh. There we go. There you go. That worked out. Good job. Oh well, yeah, you're, you're on pretty good pace. Oh, that is way too wide. Well... Yeah, I can't get the guy in the center now without doing a circle, right? Mm-hmm. Alright, well... So much for that. It's okay. Man! It's it's fresh, I know. It's so easy to I was feeling good about, about that, and then the one screw-up, and that's it. <sighs> Only there was an invisible wall right there.
Ooh, that's a really wide turn. No stress. Wow. You got this. Good job. Good job. Cool. Okay, I was worried about that, was, uh, yeah, that, that bottom, bottom one. one. Yeah. You got this. Mm -hmm. What is this? It's okay, the, it worked. That, was the, that turned worked. out to be the best thing ever. They weren't blocking your screen. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that one ended a little quickly, I think, but we finally did okay, it. Okay, great. Well, buddy, I'm gonna say that's it, because we've been at this for an hour, 13 minutes. And we only beat it by five, five seconds. seconds. You need to be perfect for this round. Granted, in a speed run, one second's a long time. But yeah, even that's a little ridiculous. I and mean, we're oh, gonna have to stop because my Joy-Con battery is gonna die. All right, yeah. well, just to kind of, oh, well, we got it. I said we'd upgrade the stuff, right? I, I need the controller All right, quickly. input back. All right, hang on. We'll be okay, we'll be okay, we'll be okay. Like, we'll be it'll, fine, it'll, we'll be fine. Yeah. Your, your we'll, controller will not die, and if it does, then we can just be, use we'll a we'll Joy-Con on its side. Yeah, we'll play it off as a joke. All right, here we go. So let's go upgrade those abilities because I said I would. I don't want to deal with the people getting mad at me. So here we go. People are already mad at you for not upgrading your abilities. People are mad at me for lots of reasons. Why? <laughs> All right, here Unfortunately, we go. Unfortunately, this is true. Let's go do, take care of these. And with this one, I'll be able to access pretty much any ability, right? All right, so you can have, oh yeah. Paper. Okay, hurry up and take it off my hands, Waddle he, He's just gonna tell you, hey, this ability can be upgraded. Hey, this right, ability, ability can be, be upgraded. upgraded. Fine. Hey, this ability can be upgraded. All right, sleep. We gotta, we gotta start with, no, we'll do sleep last. All right, cool. When you power up an ability, a plus will be added to show that its attack power has been increased. Okay, great. So, I guess we'll just go in order. Sword. Into oh, no, giant I said I do, sword. I said I would do bombs next. I remember I mentioned that a long time ago. I'll do that one next. Boom. Doesn't matter. I mean, the main, this. The main game's already done. Ta-da. Cool. Big old gigant sword from Return Monster to Dreamer. Monster Hunter, great sword right here. Great. All right, and then we will do the bomb one. Boom, thank you. And then I can upgrade two more. All uh, right, homing bomb. Yeah, two more? Two more, because each one takes three, right? Each first one I thought it only takes two. Oh, well then yeah, maybe I, I can do three more. We can check. Okay. Well, let's get the tornado one. So I, I mean, if I go, okay, That's yeah. three, uh, well, anyway, that was the, the last tornado one that you just unlocked, not the Oops. second one. Well, then, frick, I will get the second tornado as well. And we'll have one extra one, and it will be incredibly awkward. And I'll have time to play with all these in due time, but we just got to wrap up today's video. Okay. What a geek. Thank you very much for your participation. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, I mean, you helped out a lot. I don't know if I would have been able to do a couple of these challenges without you, especially that digging one. That so digging one was... Uh, it, it pierced my heavens, that's for sure. <laughs> Very good. All right, I'm sorry we had to speed up the upgrade process. Hopefully the next time we do a video when we finish the rest of the challenges, I won't have to just like speed through this. We can actually enjoy ourselves and I'll actually be able to see what these abilities do. But for now, next time we'll complete the rest of the Treasure Road challenges. Then we'll do the arena and then we'll start the post game. But until then, that wraps up this video of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos. What do you, do you have anything to say before I end the video? I can't believe we're going to finish all the challenge roads next video when we only got through a third of them this time. We'll do it. It'll be great. We'll be, it'll be so much easier because it won't be that one drill challenge anymore. <laughs> that's that's true. We're an hour and 17 minutes into this recording and we're going to do all the other challenge roads in this same amount of time. It's going to be great. Great. All righty. Bye bye, humans. Whoosh. Hey, thank you for watching my video. If you want to continue to support my content, the best thing you can do is like this video and subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is click the little buttons down below. Also, please be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with my video schedule. My tag is at RealYoShiller. I hope to see you all in future videos. Bye-bye. Whoosh.